G'day, that's Lock Car Guy here, and welcome back to another delivery unboxing, and this is quite a special car. It's a Carrera 132 Digital. This car has a huge cult following in Australia. It was massive in our early 90s racing. What car could it be? It is from Japan. It's named after a mythical monster. If that hasn't given away yet, well, stick around and let's unbox Carrera 132 Digital's JDM Special. So welcome back to another delivery unboxing and I am super excited about this car. Again, I did not think I would get this in Australia. This car has a huge cult following. I'm not gonna show you pictures of why yet, but let's get into the unboxing. And it's nicely snug in this uh, delivery box, so it just fits. And what car is it? Well, it's a car that I absolutely love and it's the initial D version of the R32 GDR Skyline Godzilla. This car is incredible. Now, I was lucky enough to have an R32 Type N, M sorry, when I was a young fella, not a GDR, but it was a two-liter turbo, but this is a dream car in Australia. This has had a cult following for many years, and this is the car, and I'll put it up now, is what made us love the GDR. So, as always, let's have a quick tour around the actual case itself. Now, if you're not familiar with Initial D, I'll chuck some photos up of the cartoon. It's a Japanese cartoon of a delivery driver, and this is one of the character's vehicles in the car. It almost, let's say, started the drift scene. Uh, the cool thing about this, there is a 132 scale figure in there, which is the driver. Let's spin it around. There's some really good box art on this. So if you don't know what Initial D is, please Google it and watch the cartoons. It's extremely good but I'm excited to unbox this. So as always, let's unbox it, let's tear it down, let's check out the figure, and then we may run it on the track. I don't think I will this time because I want to keep this pristine, but let's get stuck in to the teardown. Well, before we get stuck into the teardown, I was way too excited and forgot to do the tour of the car whilst it's on its base. So let's do a quick tour, let's check out the figure uh, because I am excited to get stuck into this car. So. This is a Carrera Digital 132, and how do you tell that without looking at the car, uh, which we'll show shortly there is a chip inside this car, but you would have 132 written up here, and oh, sorry, Digital Carrera Digital, and also normally the base is blue. So if you're buying off the shelf and you're looking at the shelf, take note of the insignia, and also the base, is, which is normally blue. I'm not gonna say it's always blue, but it's normally blue. Let's take a tour around. We've got our 132 figure, which we'll check him out in a tick. And then, as always, around the back, you got this nice sliding bit of plastic with a spare baggie of goodies. So you might have a, what do we have this time? You normally got braid and some guide, which I won't crack that open because sometimes these break, so I'll leave it as this. Again, this is the initial D version, the GDR R32 Skyline, and the driver, I believe, is Takeshi Nakayota. I don't think I said that right. So there it is on the base. Oh, and don't forget, if you have got 132 um, banked corners, don't use this car. That's a warning by Carrera. So always take note of the warnings. And this is the 25th anniversary of the cartoon, I believe. That's what it's saying here. I didn't know that. So this is the 25th anniversary, hence why they've released it. So now let's take it off the base. We'll have a real good tour of the car, the shell and the chassis, and we'll have a chat about the car itself. Let now get stuck into it. So I've removed the car from the base. I've actually taken the shell off the chassis, which has taken four easy screws to get out. So it wasn't a very hard car to take off the actual chassis. But before we review the car, let's have a quick look at the actual figure itself, which is the driver. He's also in the vehicle and you've got a standing figure so you can model him onto the car. Now that might be his footy base. Now I think that might've been just a little bit of plastic. And the good thing about this figure, you can actually pose him how you like. Now I do take photos on Instagram, so this is gonna be a great car for me to photograph on Instagram. So it's really cool that Carrera are adding figures with the cars. He's also in the car, but I like how there's that option to have him standing outside. Now, I did say earlier, this car is very famous in Australia. It is a 2.6 litre, six cylinder twin turbo. It's an absolute monster, it's a weapon. And these cars now go for mega bucks, the real version in Australia, which I'll put up just an example. So they can go from between 60 and $200,000 for a good version of this car in real life in Australia. Now let's talk about the actual slot car itself. And you'll see on the side here, and I'll get nice and zoomed in. Sorry, it's black, so you might get some 
a little bit of uh, glare. Now you've got Night Kids, I believe it was, Night Kids sticker on the back, which is the name of their gang or group or whatever it might have been. I think that's the brand that they run under. I'm not 100% sure about the, the teams, I guess you'll say, but it's cool I've actually added the sticker on, which is in the cartoon. Now this is a very highly detailed slot car by Carrera. The figure itself internally, He's very well designed, replicating the real driver. You've got some interior work in there. He's holding a really nice steering wheel. Let's see if I can get into that. But unfortunately, you know, very small detail. I can't get in there. But that interior is highly detailed. Let's move around to the front. Now, this, this car is repl replicated in so many video games, and they always get the headlight wrong. When Forza did their first re rendition of this, uh, vehicle, this, they were very squared off, so I think Carrera has done a really good job of making this look like a GDR. I like the actual S badging on the front too, which is the original Skyline badging. I really like how they followed that through, and the really big intercooler at the front. Obviously being twin turbo, this thing needs uh, a nice intercooler to keep the air cold. On the sides, identical. We've got the sticker again on the rear. Love the period correct rims, and it's also nicely treaded tyres underneath, which we'll get to in a tick. Uh, there's no passenger. The only thing I could say that I don't like about it, the interior passenger footwell is almost flat with the dash. So you physically couldn't have another a person in there. Same as the back seats. They're actually flat, which I'm going to try and get a good picture. They're actually a flat part, so they don't sink down like traditional seats or where your feet would go, but that's okay. Let's go around to the back. Love these uh, dimmers. Uh, the, the heat elements that you can really see in the back window there. And then if, I don't have to camera's going to show, but there's some speaker work, which is, that is awesome. Look at the speakers. That is so cool. And then flip around to the rear. Got the, the iconic GDR insignia on the rear, right about here. And then you've got the titanium colored tipped exhaust pipe. Now that is, what, a, what an absolute beautiful slot car. Now Carrera is very smart following the JDM stream. I'm an ex, still collect die cast cars and in Australia, JDM, Japanese domestic market vehicles being this, a hot property. So any slot car maker out there, I'm gonna tell you now, any slot car maker out there, if you want to broaden your, your audience, you need to start making Japanese classics. Mark my word for it, play this video back in 10 years time, they need to make Evos, RX-7s, Stagias, you name it, they need to get into that market, which is why Carrera is very smart. Now I believe they just released or releasing a blue version of this R32 uh, Skyline, but this is the latest, latest that I, I believe is released. Let's take the shell off, and again, it did take four screws. I don't wanna get stuck on the lights, and then flip it up underneath, and then you can see, as I always do, check out the uh, engine, uh, the chassis pod. So that's, it's quite a high detail pod. It's, there's a lot of room to play with, but you can see they've spent some time with the inside of the actual vehicle, hence why it's not as shallow as it normally is. But there is still room to play, so really, really cool. I like also how the actual plastics, and you can see at the rear here, are red tinted, and also the indicators, I'll see if I can get that. Uh, well, no, you won't be able to see it. The indicator glass is also tinted, so it's very cool that it's not just a, you know, a cheap plastic uh, example of an indicator. Let's move that aside. Let's have a look at the internals. Now, as always, rear wheel drive, our inline motor, the Carrera style motor, which everyone's aware of, and obviously uh, looks like they're, they're nylon gearing. We do have active lights on this vehicle, front and rear. You've got the digital chip, and if you've never seen a digital chip, under this spaghettiness is the chip. If we flip it upside down, there's your light sensor right there. So when you go over a changeover and you click the button, this will let the changeover know, I'm, I'm happy to change. You can also flick the switch back to analog so you can run this car on an analog track as an analog car. Really cool idea. As always, the oversized Carrera guide. I actually love their guides and they've got the dual touching um, braid set up, which is, everyone knows that's, that's Carrera when you see it. So very, very well set up car. As always, um, if you've had a Carrera car, you know exactly how they look. Now, rear magnet across the back. So the rear wheels here, and I actually love this little bit of detail here. They've painted the fuel tank, I think that's the fuel tank. And then you can also see that blue painted tip on the rear. So very, very cool slot car. And again, very smart by Carrera to be doing JDM cars. Now, in real life, this car is four wheel drive. So it would have been really good to see an active drive shaft 
or a belt driven system on this car to make it what it was back in the day. So, but I'm super excited. And actually, while I'm talking to you, I've just noticed if I can zoom in, there's actually brake discs behind this behind this wheel set. I'm gonna see if I can get in on that. Hopefully you can see that. There's actually brake discs and and calipers behind that wheel set. I hope you can see that at home. That is, I'm blown away. Super excited. It comes with a 132 figure. So if you're taking photos, if you're staging these cars, it's gonna look good. Paint job, interior work is incredible. Now hit the comments if you know who's making these. I know it's Carrera, but it, I believe it's outsourced to Japan or similar for these to be made. Carrera, please keep doing it. I'm looking forward to the RX-7. I will try and get my hands on the Bluey. Guys, grab these while you can, because I reckon this is gonna be hot property in time to come. So again, at that slot car guy on Instagram, thank you so much for uh, watching the videos. If you did watch my last uh, initial D, there is, I believe this still might be available, there is still the AE86. This has got pop-up lights. Watch my other video on that, really good slot car. But this is the second release in the series. So, Carrera, well done, blown away. Alrighty, righty guys, that's it for today. A quick unboxing and a teardown. Like I said, I'm not gonna probably do a track run. I wanna keep this minty fresh until the track's got borders, but I'm glad you've had a look with me. I'm out of here. Take care, ciao.